Well, the Kansas City Museum has finally reopened after a seven year, $22 million renovation delayed by the pandemic. The restoration team wants visitors to learn the whole story of Kansas City, past and present, and promises there will be some surprises along the way. The first visitors are lining up outside the majestic Kansas City Museum in the city's historic Northeast. <laughs> And for Paul Gutierrez, it's been a long time coming. I'll probably cry this week by myself. <laughs> so we're on the second floor, kind of gives you a map of what we're going to be today. Originally owned by the Robert Long family, it's been a museum since 1940. Early versions of bicycles. These are authentic. I think, yeah, yeah. From Kansas City. Our collection. Now completely restored, renovated, and open to the public. They're going to jaw drop, like wow. It's hard to ignore the beautiful architecture, a mix of historic and contemporary. We have over 100,000 objects. We're still actively collecting. But the heart of the museum's rebirth is the focus of telling the whole story of Kansas City, to be inclusive. This panel is really powerful. I had no idea until the content was built that today there are no federally recognized tribes in the state of Missouri. The museum focuses on the people of Kansas City, even the controversial. For example, do you remove J.C. Nichols' profile? Yes or no? So that was that conversation. We kept him, but then the programming will tell the other story of his effects of redlining and how that still affects our city. There's a whole exhibit featuring present-day Kansas Cityans who are quietly making history now. And when you visit, keep your eye out for discreet gold medallions. There are four secret time capsules hidden behind them to be discovered by future generations. Another piece of Kansas City history. The museum is open Thursdays through Sundays. Admission is free, but due to COVID, there are capacity limits, so you do need to reserve a spot in advance. Just go to kansascitymuseum.org.